Hi, I'm Dr. Jamuna Rajeshwaran, a professor and head of clinical neuropsychology and cognitive neuroscience center, Department of Clinical Psychology, NIMHANS. Neurofeedback, definitely it is a state of art technology. Now what happens in this particular training is, yes, we do face a lot of problem when patients come here, they think we are giving them the electrical shock. So we have to explain to them there is absolutely no side effect in this uh, particular training that we give. We did it on ADHD and this particular training is very, very effective on ADHD children. Even Western research has also shown this. We have worked in stroke, we have worked in autism, we have worked in uh, um, specific learning disability, we have worked in schizophrenia, we have worked in anxiety, we have worked in depression. We look at the symptoms, we look at the cognitive profile, we look at their uh, presenting complaints and depends on that. Not many of them are aware, but definitely I'm making inroads to bring this awareness. Wherever I go now, I speak more about neuro, e.g. neurofeedback only. So they are quite open to it because many of the patients who come today don't want medication. If there is a treatment without medication, without any side effects, they are willing to give, uh, go in for the therapy. This boy had a head-on collision. He was on a bike. He met with a severe head injury. He was very aggressive. He would uh, uh, be assaultive, especially towards the mother. By the fifth session, his anger disappeared. And it is after that we saw a significant improvement in this patient, uh, where especially the areas of uh, learning and memory improved. Plasticity starts immediately. So augmenting that plasticity with neurofeedback is very, very good. Whereas here, we are directly dealing with the brain waves. The brain waves are responsible for very many functions. A simple example of alpha wave, we give alpha theta. Alpha wave is responsible for relaxation and superior intelligence. So we give them the training. We give two waves training. One is for alpha and one is theta. Theta is known to, uh, the, the functions of theta wave is creativity, imagination, cognition. You know, it's a very uh, uh, highly loaded with a creative wave, that is. And this is uh, alpha relaxation. So we are giving these two waves training, but of course when we are giving, we are also contradicting what we are t telling the patient. We are telling the patient to relax and do it. The patient is not able to relax. Patient is, when the patient is able to do the task, he is not able to relax. When he is relaxing, he is not able to do the task. So over five sessions, they have this uh, confusion. And after five sessions, they settle down what is known as the crossover effect.